Raj DK, you've completed 10 years in the business. Um, you are, in a sense, the outsiders who took Bollywood. Um, you know, both of you had, of course, famously had software jobs that you gave up, um, software engineering jobs that you right. gave up in the US. Um, now you are successful writer, directors, producers, creators of, of web show, working um, in Hollywood, if you like. Um, do you feel like you belong at the end of 10 years? I mean, you, you all started out really as true blue indie filmmakers right. um, with flavors and shadi.com um, and then sort of graduating into, into the, the bigger productions. Um, do you feel like the business has embraced you? Um, has Bollywood embraced you? Do you feel like insiders? Okay, I mean, yeah, when, yeah, I mean, I, I still kind of go around saying, oh, you know, see, we are not Bollywood, see, we are outsiders. But right. a lot of people are like now taking it to the pinch of salt. Right. Come on, guys, after 10 years, you cannot 10 years, say you that. Can't get away with that, yeah. But it's still indie at heart, sure. I think. And then uh, I think the, the new format, the longer format, is allowing us to do more of it. Right. And also being uh, producing your own content mm. is allowing us to uh, get those indie spirit back in. Right. Like in, uh, not back in, it was always there, but explore more. Right. So that way it's fun. Uh, yeah, I mean, I feel like we are part of the fraternity, of course, because mm. there's always nice conversations, interactions, you know, warm exchanges. So that way, it's it's it is been there. But uh, I think we've always kind of held our own little place, like you know, we like to uh, so that we just focus on what you want to do versus what is required. Right. Uh, so I think we fiercely held on to it as the years passed by, mm. saying that I'd rather not sign three films here, I did not do that with this, you know, whatever, like, yeah. the, uh, so, uh, b so we kind of stayed by ourselves mm. in a way. Um, and also, and also, yeah, I mean, in that sense, like, uh, I can still say that we don't know a lot of people. Sure. In Bollywood. We only, but, but it's been 10 years, so we've made a few films and we know the people that we've worked with. And I don't think you know, uh, there's anybody left that you don't know. There's enough people You'll you be know. surprised. <laughs> There'll be many people we run into a party and somebody will like, who's that? And we'll be like, I have no idea. And so it, That's that because you don't remember somebody anybody. Really big. That person is somebody really big. And <laughs> we're like, you don't know him? It's yeah, like, yeah. Oh, okay, okay, he's him. I know his name. I met him. Well, you can never, I mean, I, I would imagine that an outsider can never be an insider to the degree that that someone that's born in the in the industry sure, can sure. be right. Fair enough. Yeah. Right. That way, yes. It's not that like way, we yeah. have uh, proximity. The, yeah. Yeah. And it's not like we are, you know, in the, the in, we're not hanging out mm. that way. But it's all right. It's the fun part is creating what you want, and sure. we've been figuring, we've been wanting to try and see how much control we can get over what we make. Right. Uh, and that's really the progress. Sure. In 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 a way. Sure. What do you um, do? You uh, do you think about this? And I wonder whether whether um, you know creators do. I mean, do you think about what is your signature? I mean, as as someone on the outside, if, if someone were to ask me what what I think is uh, Rajan DK's um, signature, I would say it's this it's this sort of sense of humor that's that's very original it's 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 hard to describe because it's very personal and very original um and you know one has seen it and, and there have been moments when it's worked and there have been times when it hasn't um but it's but it's a very um it's it's very unique in its in itself do you sometimes think of that um you know what would you like uh, the rajan dk film to to be i mean what 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 is a, if if someone were to describe a rajan dk film what should that stand for see in one word i would say original mm. That would be the thing. Right. And a lot of times these descriptions that you're saying, right, I think we also end up gathering it from, from, from people outside. like you when right. you say it. Right. For us, it's more of uh, wanting to be unique. Mm. Each project we do, mm. something unique, let's go, let's go there, let's go there, let's go there. Uh, so if you're putting out a, a trailer or a, or a first feel of the film yeah. or a series, um, you don't want to look like I've seen this. Right. That's the number one thing. Because as a viewer, I don't want to feel like yeah, yeah. Uh, or, I, I'm or, not like yeah. excited saying that, you know, I want to see that series sure. of film. Or even go with a trend, I feel mm. like if a certain kind of films are working and right, jump okay, on the bandwagon, yeah, yeah. now you're doing that. That's, that's, that's something we kind of shudder when we think about it. If right. you, even if you're planning a script on a certain subject or a certain kind of a film and we see that somebody else is making that film, we kind of usually shelve it and move on rather than, oh, that worked, let's make it kind of a thing right. that has been it. But do you remember um, starting out? I mean, do you remember sort of showing up in Mumbai to make your first film? Um, and and did you? I mean, this is the this is the obvious question. But did you um, did you think uh, that 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 you would um, be in a place where you where you've made this incredible show, which which the world is watching? Um, you're going to work with the Russo brothers next. You've got um, you know a, a super hit production, a film that you all produced. And what was the plan when you all got here? 
I don't think we've had we had such a big plan. Sure. Yeah. Um, uh, we we had a struggle. We had a quite a sort of strong struggle. Mm. We thought it's going to be easy. All we had to do was write a script. Right. Yeah. And so we thought, forget how you how you get to make a film. Mm. Let's just focus on what makes a film. Right. So we taught ourselves all the aspects of film. And that's how it should be in the, in a perfect world. Right? Sure. Directors should direct. Writer directors should write and direct. Yeah. Right. So we like. We learned editing. We should, used to edit ourselves, shoot the film ourselves, do the boom, sound, mix. Yeah, our BGM. first couple of films, independent films, we did everything ourselves. Like right. the crew list was very small right. on that, on those. So one thing was like, if nobody makes it, mm. we make it, because you know we know we know the the how to make it. Correct. And now we write it. We write it 15 times to see if it's good, and then you have a thing. So you know that we are self-reliant. Mm. And now let's see how to make it. Okay, fine. We'll put our money in. Right. We'll put friends. I said we'll take our money. So it's more of that process. Yeah. So we weren't thinking. But when you want to make a Hindi film, mm. and then now you're waiting, when waiting for actors and dates, and they are like, who are you? You know, you guys don't, you don't seem like you're from here. Script is good, but how will you make it? What is the right. precedent to this film? Give me another film that looks like it. Correct. I said I don't know. You tell me. So yeah. it took us almost five years to get. It was out. also a very different time, right? Yeah. yeah it, was, it was. It was. Even now, mm -hmm. when we pitch a strangely weird film, right, which is like, every other pitch uh -huh. for you all. <laughs> Like nice, I think nice, now, nice. right now, people are expecting us to pitch something strange. Correct. But like a couple. Yeah, even of years the last pitch we did, it was like they they heard it and they were like, "Oh, it's very nice. How about this?" Uh, yeah. So it's it's it is it is sometimes that how about we uh, how about we do this other script you told us about right. so it, it's always a struggle right. a bit of a struggle but uh, yeah we never had a plan we didn't we always thought let's let's just be reliant enough that we make it ourselves if but nobody what makes made it. you think I mean when you were giving up your jobs in the U S fairly secure jobs uh, um, what made you think that you could do it See, we self trained made... right. Self trained, yeah. yeah. So we made our first film in the US. Right. That's why. So Which is flavors. Flavors, yeah. Right. So we, we were working as software engineers, so we we wrote our script. Mm. We by then we had made a few short films, learned the, how to make a film. Right. And then that's when we thought, okay, let's put all our money. We borrowed some money from friends. We put it with a very, very low budget indie film. We mm. made it. And the film did get some amount of appreciation yes. and people did uh, like it quite a bit and yes. went to a lot of film festivals and that kind of opened up our horizons also. Correct. Then we thought we'll come to Bombay, Mumbai and make a film. So we wrote a script, came to Mumbai, and that's when we realized it's going to be a lot harder. Right. So we spent, uh, what, a few months here, but we ran out of money. Okay. So we went back to the States, worked for two years uh -huh. with the intention that we're just going to make a lot of money for right. two years. And just bring it so in. That, so that, and make uh, it our own. Yeah. So make that, another film. So, uh, I, I, so that we don't have to work for another two years right. and we can just survive in Mumbai while, it, while we wait. Mm. That was the idea. Just make, make money in two years so you can survive for another two years Thanks. without right. earning. Right. So yeah, and we didn't earn for a long time once we came to Mumbai. So, What do you consider your turning point? Um, what's the film that, in your opinion, put you on the map? I mean, I remember watching Shore in the City first and going, who are those guys? Um, because it was, it was it really, it was filmmakers in command of their material. It was um, the music was beautiful. It was also also I think that um, the multiple narrative, multiple characters, you know, subplots right. coming together was new at the time. Right. But it was great storytelling. I mean, was that the film that put you on the map? In in uh, yeah, I think so. Sure, in the city is when people recognized and somebody said, "Who are they?" And right. people used to say, "Who are these guys?" And that was a second film. Mm. So yeah. it that really got us appreciation. And, and afterwards, yeah, slowly we're discovering that our first film has a huge, uh, right. like a slowly building fan following. Correct. How many people watched it, right? Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. it didn't pay off when it released. Yeah, like slow tonight. burn. Right. It was a slow burn. And, and what was Does happening? Does it exist anywhere? Is it on any platform? Nice. It's there. Uh, Netflix. Netflix. It is on Netflix. Okay, okay. So a new flood of uh, things have been coming. Reactions Discovering it, to it. right. Yeah. Yeah. So Shore the City, I think I would say it's a combination of Shore the City and Go 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 Gone. Mm. Because yeah. Shore the City was made and then we said, you know what, this is our next film. Right. And people were like, are you crazy? Yeah, it was right. an unnatural next film Correct. follow up to Shore the City. <laughs> so, and that was, yeah. that was what was uh, driving us too. Mm -hmm. We made this film, a gritty, darkish tale yeah. about uh, love and hate, love hate yeah. thing. And then we went in, so we want to make a silly film about uh, zombies and drugs. Right. And they're like, what? <laughs> but I think together right. uh, uh, is what. Uh, we to got a lot of youngsters and all these. The I think we tend to make these two kinds of films right. in a way too, looks right. like. Yeah. Or everything in between. Right. <laughs>
Well, you know, when I mean, you've had that success, um, and GoGoGone did actually really make people sit up and notice and say, "What is this?" I mean, they're 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 playing with form. They're playing with um, you know, they're they're playing with a, a completely wild story, a genre which doesn't exist. I mean, you you sort of created that genre, so to speak. Um, when um, happy ending didn't work, or when gentleman didn't work, what does that do to what does that do to you as as people who who are not raised in the business and have been you know, I would imagine that, that that lot of filmmakers know that, you know, you take this in your stride, there will be other opportunities. Does it, um, does it make you insecure about whether there will be more opportunities? Opportunities, like, like, I think we always fell back on the fact that we can make one. Right. We'll yeah. make we one. We just have to scale down. Sure. And, uh, you know, that was always a Yeah, it's just that, you know, we, we may not be able to afford budgets, but we'll do something on our own. I'm sure we have two more sh show in the city kind of ideas and right. bunch of these. So that way we, are, we were okay. Of course, it hits you very hard. It hits yeah. you badly. But I mean. the way I react is on, you know, Friday evening, it's not working. You know already by, right. by then. I would imagine that most filmmakers, you, yeah. Yeah, and you know. Is it a coincidence that both the films that didn't work are the ones that were studio products, that were, you know, your big star films? What I'm insinuating, of course, is that perhaps these were, this was filmmaking by committee. Um, I, I wouldn't. I because know, I, gentlemen, I, 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 it, was, it was hard to. It, I mean, one was looking for the Raj and DK that you that you thought you knew, right? And and, and wasn't terrible, wasn't visible. No, I think I, at the end of it, it's the it's us. Yeah. Who's making it? Sure. Yeah, yeah. It's so, a, it's, so somewhere it's, there, there is a, our trademark, but maybe it was camouflaged right. too much. But uh, I think it's also the 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 image it portrayed hmm. that with all the frills and packaging and actors and songs and music it felt like the core of it when if I tell you the core of the both stories right. you would still think oh that's fun that's, that's yeah. cool that's yeah. unique that's fun mm. so that got a little packaged out right yeah. so that thing that happened with those two films are you wary of that now going ahead we learned from it yeah. so more than wary you know what to do what not to do where to stop so when you say packaged you mean um, misrepresented because there will packaging will always exist right I, I would imagine it's the right kind of packaging the, the, the correct communication Communication is part of it. Right. right I would yeah. say it's more of, uh, let's say, the glossy way right. or the, the music or the certain so actors. We are, we are making a, say we are making a summer action blockbuster, yeah. but it doesn't look like a summer action blockbuster they're looking at. What if it had been portrayed as this quirky crime comedy that's right. coming? Right. You know, more humble. What sure. if we Portrayal. didn't have the origin, yeah. uh, the uh, the action in a gentleman? What if what if it hadn't started off as a bang bang two? Right, that Correct. kind of. That's right. Yeah. So yeah, and we, yeah. we didn't have action in that story before. It wasn't an action film. Mm. It was yeah. a, a crime comedy. It was like a ninety nine. Right. It was so, a follow up to ninety nine. So imagine exactly. Okay. Yeah. Now imagine ninety nine and and it's becoming uh, that becoming that. So you yeah. lose your heart in it, in the spirit in it. So that's but the thing what what I tend to do like you're saying are you scared and are you afraid of course you are thinking oh god what did we do we mm. spent a year and a half on this it went and then you learn and all that but what i tend to do is a saturday morning mm -hmm. i find a really good coffee shop and write the next script really like the morning after pretty much exactly actually a gentleman I remember saturday morning it was still pouring i went out and i said this is what i'm making i wrote three <laughs> right so it's it's that it's that kind of uh, you drive so. you're driven to do what you, you go back and think, what did I believe in? Where did we start? What did we want to do? Right. What happened with this? Why not And you do start, this? yeah, after, after a week when the dust settles down, you yeah. kind of start, you know, when you've gone past the part that it's too soon. Sure. Then you start looking at what did what, people what, not like and right. why did it not work? And there'll be still, still be some people who said, oh, I love the interval twist. And Correct. This and to that. confuse so you, you, right, yeah. You still know that there are certain things Bits, people yeah. like, but there are certain things that completely took over that people did not like. Right. So when the pain dies, you we read the reviews. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, why didn't you direct three? You wrote it. Why didn't you direct that one? It was written to direct. Uh -huh. yeah. uh, we wrote it to direct it. And it was there. It's been there for five, six years. Yeah. But we wanted to also produce it. Uh, so we've been waiting for the right time because every time we think we have to wait for the right time, right. then we said, you know what, this is a good time to do mm. it. And I realized suddenly that this genre looks even fresher, even though we've done Go Go Gone before, it just looks so much fresh when you put in a rural, like yeah. it's, it's based on my hometown, right. the stories I heard in my hometown. Right. So I realized that this is a good time, so let's produce it. So we started putting it together. See, we really wanted to start making more movies. Sure. And to do that, if you're directing, we're probably directing one every two years. Right. 
So we figured that we could actually create movies, mm -hmm. get somebody else, like our assistant director, Bring in, right. perhaps, to direct. Somebody we know, yeah. Yeah. so that I can share our uh, the vision, uh, right. vision and share our uh, sense. Sure. You know, three um, ended up becoming a, a big hit. It, it, it ended up becoming one of the films that, that we most loved that year. Has it left a, a sweet taste or a not so sweet taste in your mouth in the way that the film um, and, and what happened with the film? I mean, it's no secret that, that you're involved in a, in a case um, with your co-producer Dinesh Vijayan of Matic Films. Um, there, is a, there is a case about, about profits, um, about determining uh, what is due to you. Um, how do you look at the, you know, how do you look at it and, and how does that inform or determine what happens with 3-2, which you all have said that you do have a plan for, you'll have a, you'll have a story for. Uh, yeah, 3 was an incredible success for all of us, for everybody, every one of us, including everyone yeah. for that matter. So that way we were, we've been very happy. It's actually, uh, uh, we gave us a, a shot in the arm that, you know, that you could tell a silly story. Right. Layered with subtext. That's right. And do our kind of humor and cinema and all that. And the fact that Amar and uh, somebody could take it and go forward right. with it. And that he could really shape it. So you know that, you know, we can make more movies mm. now. It's not like one in two You can sort of expand your range. Expand and right. yourself. Yeah. And three was always designed as, uh, uh, a three film thing. We're not a, like we don't like we're not like always thinking. Let's make sequel now right. and make more money off of it. Right, but there was enough plot to enough plot, and it's also this is like almost like the middle chunk of the story. Right. When we had a story, you have to have a backstory. Correct. You know where it's heading. Right. Why are some things mysterious? Right. So there was certain thing. It's not like we said, okay, let's make three films. Sure. It's more like you know this and this. Right. And if this works, and let's complete this, the arc. Right. Yeah, and yeah. it'll be fun. Them. Uh -huh. So that's been the idea with three. So when we, when and when and if we get to three two, I would love to explore that parts of the story. How hopeful are you that there will be um, a three two? Because that that will of course be determined by what happens with the case. It's also important to talk about this case because this is one of those um, cautionary tales, right? I mean, right. Um, you know, one has one has heard and read so much about it, sort of offline, and I I don't know how 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 much you all can speak about. But um, what has this experience taught you? It's just taught us that it's not just enough to be a filmmaker. You have to be prudent in all aspects. Mm. Yeah, so be, yeah. it taught us to surround ourselves with a with other other people, right. so that you know yeah, we team have of some people who can you know, who's good at things right. and who's who are yeah. good at uh, all kinds of angles that we are not well read in. Right. It yeah. um, it also is that it also shows us that this is a industry. And if you are a producer, you have to have various strengths to yourself. Mm -hmm. Again, I don't think we don't think ourselves. At least I don't think myself as a as a producer. Producer, right. we are really creative people, creators. Yeah. Who, if it means to make another film, will be a producer. Right. Yeah. So if we get another good story, I'll, I'll, uh, or if we I, if we finish another story, we'll make we'll produce a film. Right. But I, it's not like I'm looking to make 10 films a year. Right. Yeah, like fill a slate Set up a with, studio. Correct. Yeah, fill it with 10 films and sell it and this and that. that's not even our Create strength. Slate. Like I won't right. even get into selling and, you know, and distributing part of it. Right. I'd rather you think of yourselves as yeah. creators first, right. of course. Um, you know, Go Go Are Gone, it was, was something that was unique and something that, that, that clearly had your stamp all over it. And, um, but you don't, you don't own that film, the IP, or do you? Where is that? Because there has been some, and again, you all have spoken about having, a, having an idea. I remember speaking to Saif, um, I remember speaking to Kunal Kemu and all of them uh, said they'd do it if, if these guys came back. But they also recognized that there was, it was a complicated uh, scenario because Saif co-produced that with Dinesh Vijayan of Madoc, who are now not together. And Eros. There was Eros involved as well. Yeah. Um, what's going to be left of it? Uh, and now there has been an, an announcement, uh, very recently there's been an announcement saying that there's going to be a Go Goa Gone uh, too. Um, but there's no, we, we don't. Uh, so yeah, it's, uh, again, uh, we we have a story. Right. We've written Go Go Gone 2. We met the boys, we, I met Saif, and we talked about it. And we have a plan mm. to do it. And everybody's excited. They know the concept, they know the story. And uh, a lot of people know it, actually. Right. And uh, yes, we are not, we were not the producers of uh, the film. Uh, so we it's, So we can technically be, you know, we have to depend on who's involved. Right, right. So there are three, four people involved in it. Right. So now I need to figure who has what piece. Correct. I have <laughs> right. to meet them yeah. and stuff. 
it is very exciting to make the only sequel I would love to make in mm. a way is also Go Go or Gone uh -huh. because I also like the world. Right, the like, world is fascinating. Know. Yeah. So I like these characters. Okay. I like Kunal, V, Anand. Right. I like Boris a lot. Yes. And I just uh, like to go back because you know I'd rather spend that time making a new film. Sure. Ideally, but this one film is very very sweet and kind of fun to go back to. Right. But again, I'm not gonna. It's not like I'll throw everything off and run for it. If if I have to do another battle, I said, I'll I'll make another film. A new original yeah. film. Sure. So, because like I said, you go back to the fact that you know we have enough unique films that Correct. we want to focus on it. Right. You don't need so, to Yeah, if it's on if it's getting if it gets nasty and dirty and too many people involved, I'd rather just focus on something new. Yeah. You had this huge shining R in, in the family man which all which all created um, and which did wonders for Amazon and, and, and really again had your stamp all over it because it, it is this story of an of an every man or a seemingly an every man who has this dual life and Manoj was extraordinary in it. It, it almost was a sort of revival uh, of Manoj in the mainstream certainly. Um, where did that come from? Um, you're now wrapping season two of, uh, of The Family Man. Yeah. What have been some of the, uh, the, the responses? Also the fact that you were making it for Amazon which means that it goes out to a gazillion places at the same time. Did that determine or inform how, how you all were writing it? Were you all writing it for um, an Indian audience or do you think of that when you write? I mean, so everything. I we, yeah, we were all uh, fa family man. Of course, we know it's a show that has to primarily play in India, right? right. So it has to be rooted in India, meant for an Indian audience. Mm. So to that and to that extent, it, it's a, it's a, it's an everyday Indian man. Yes. So I think every middle class Indian person would identify Can with that character, yes. which is also one of the strengths of the show. Correct. So that was always the intention, but one of the li the the liberation you get from making a series is you can you can stay away from certain formula certain formulas or certain things that you have to keep in mind when you're making a feature film right and that that was the liberating part of mm. it so you didn't have to worry about a lot of things that right. you worry about it's as simple as you don't want to worry about cutting a scene out like a, ta a tangent we want to take right yeah and you know the quest question of course the 101 for everything is that will this scene take the movie forward right so everybody's read the books everybody's asking the question key will this scene will this scene take? i said no but i want to do it right. i want to do it anyway because it's fun and it's 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 and it, and it opening shows a facet of the character yeah another facet of the character and yeah. you have the scope to explore mm. it might it not also, yeah, yeah go on it also allowed us to break a lot of, do a lot of things that we wouldn't do in a feature film. Like, for example, we cast people from all over the country. Correct. The key roles were taken by non-Bollywood, non, non hindi people. Right. And uh, that, that, so now we are picking and choosing actors from everywhere that you want to work with. That right. itself is a very liberating thing. That in was the first thing film, we did. It's like, yeah. yes, this film, okay, you know what, let's go to Telugu, Tamil, Malayalam, right. wherever we can yeah. and right. get people. Yeah. Kashmiri. Correct. We actually yeah. got actually. You know, it's, it's funny yeah. that you you talk about that because I, I remember speaking to Manoj about it, and he said, and, and and he said it's one of his most exciting acting experiences, uh, and he was speaking exactly what you were talking about. He said he said there was room to actually discover a scene and discover where it goes, yeah. which is completely you don't have that luxury on a on a film. I think there was a scene where where him and the wife are are, are meant to argue, uh, <laughs> and and it, it just it, it started out as something and it became what we what we saw. Um, is that something that, that is truly rare to have that kind of liberty in film? We are or that kind of luxury? Actually, yeah. we are experiencing as much liberty. It's very strange. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a par uh, so it's as much liberty as what we experience making sure in the city. Right. Our flavors. Right. So it goes back where, to the indie roots. Yeah, yeah, where there is no boundaries. And your producer on Shore in the City was Ekta Kapoor, a tough producer. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, I mean, they, at that time they believed in this. Right. They're saying, okay, it's such a small film. Or they just film. didn't understand it, uh, Raj. No, it's just a very small film. Oh, like, I know. think they were coming up with alt entertainment. Th that's right. Like, LSD was, and all those things yeah, were happening yeah, at that yeah. time. So right. they were okay with it. They're like, you know, these guys can give it. It's just limited budget. So how how, how bad can it be? How, you can't go yeah, wrong yeah, it's with like, it. Right. <laughs> it's not but that I, I, just, I see that part about uh, low risk on a film that we don't know how to sell or market or right. what will it do. At the end of it, money has to, people have to cannot be in losses, right. I get that part. Yeah, a feature film, like yeah, like there are certain things, for example, the single shot action sequences yeah. that we did in here yeah. allowed us to, for example, we have a 13 minute action sequence mm. and you just have space to do things. Right. That's all I'm saying. I mean, it's, I mean I'm, not, I'm not here proposing that you can go crazy in a show or take all the time in the world because people do get bored in shows as well. So right. you That's need to true. keep it going, but you just have that much more room to play. Right. And it's the character that matters more than the plot. Mm. So yes, the plot takes about 10 episodes to go forward, but you love to see what this character can do. Right. What does he do in the kitchen? What does he do in the living room, right? I mean, you are interested. But in right. a feature film, you 
you just don't have time for it. Correct. You just have to see what happens in the... In service to the story, in, right. Yeah, yeah in the right. terms of the story. That way, this was a little liberating right. for us. You know, what, what is also wonderful about Family Man is that um, you're, you're able to take this sort of fictional story, but, but sort of talk about where we are in the country, talk about, um, you know, political affairs, current affairs. Uh, what can one expect from season two? I mean, how much can you say at this point? Uh, yeah, see, somebody, uh, uh, we just, we were, we were uh, fortunate enough to bump into Kamal Hassan the other day. Uh -huh. And he said one line to us and he said, uh, as a filmmaker, it's not your, your position or your thing to pick a stance. Right. As a filmmaker, you need to be neutral to see as much as possible. Mm. And in other words, we used to say something like we were always observers, right. not comment, we don't comment Commented, on it. Sure. So we kind of, it, that kind of resonated. He said it better. Right. Uh, so uh, we, uh, so uh, that's what we're trying to do. Right, you're reflecting what's Reflecting going. and just putting it out there mm. in an entertaining fashion, mm. in, a, in a fashion where everybody can, you know, it's palatable to a lot of people so that it's not like, so it's more of there is, uh, uh, we're, we're having as much fun as making Go Go Gone. It could right. be zombies, it could be uh, a terrorist right now. Yeah. So, you know, at the end of it, we're treating everything with seriousness mm. in terms right. of we, we're making a serious film there. It's not like a flippant film. Right. The craft is still the same, trying to do. So, yeah, we're enjoying this but process. But has this long format storytelling spoiled you for films? We'll know when we make yeah. this. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but I think we had the, yeah, I mean, no, I mean, I think we are conscious of it. When we are writing as well, we know what's yeah, a long format. It's at that stage itself, it's like, right? It's yeah. like going back to play one day cricket. Correct. You're playing test cricket, the same team plays one day. One right. day cricket. So you practice a couple of balls yeah, and then you go you, and play. You, you'll, get, you'll get into it right away. You know what you're not supposed to do and what you're doing. Right. The, the bigger challenge was for us to get to the longer format. Because sure. initially when we were writing, we were writing so like because we were being so tight. Yeah. Like we, we wrote a lot of story and it was only like three episodes. I'm right. like, no, wait, let's, right. this is not how we write a show. Like the discipline, we have to get back, yeah. yeah we have still, to, if you yeah. look at Family Man, uh, it, it, it still has a number of scenes and locations in an episode uh -huh. is quite high compared to uh, other shows. Other right. shows. Right. So we just went like a film. Yeah. So when we, we ran out of story in a way, right. like, you know, we were all like, oh, we're only three, four episodes in. We need so much more. We had to, we had to add more right. than spread it thin. Right. So we went like, we shot it like a film. Maybe that's also a reason why it's also entertaining when even the slower scenes come in or right. something that, I, that's what I've been told. So right. I'm just, uh, yeah. Now, of course, you move to the really big league <laughs> because you're doing the, um, you're, you're doing Citadel, which is the, um, which has been described as the event series for Amazon. This is, um, the creators are the Russo brothers, um, who, who of course are the Marvel guys and the Captain America guys uh, and the Avengers guys, of Avengers course. Guys, yeah. uh, uh, they they do the f I mean, take me through this. Um, Y'all do one season of the larger series. We're supposed to look at this as a almost in the way that one thinks of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, okay. where it's it's multiple um, multiple seasons, but with with common th with possibly a common thread, with possibly right. a or more than one common character that that sort of leaks into into multiple right. seasons. Y'all do Citadel India. Right. But how much more can you tell us? That we know. That, that's pretty good. I mean, actually, yeah, you summarize yeah, because Raj, yeah, yeah. I kind of, yeah, kind of summarize it. Like, yeah. see, they are making the Avengers, right? And we are making Thor, right? And I Italy making is making. Iron Man. Huh? I okay, we are making Iron Man. Yeah, because we are the quirky <laughs> ones, right? Yeah, funny ones. Yeah, right. we're making uh, uh, Iron Man, and Italy is making Thor, and. Correct. You have common characters Correct. going into one, and so Avengers. Shield agents will probably the same. Yeah, Nick Fury could appear. Yeah, that's what I'm guessing. That's right. what that that. I mean, anyway, it's not like a concrete plan. Right. But yes, we've been told this is what the idea is. Yeah. And, and there are certain we are threats and certain inter like certain incidents that trigger incidents. incidents. But you're writing and directing this, yeah. Yes, yes. yes. Writing, and also uh, characters will interchange. All that will happen. So there are three seasons that are going to be put out at the same time, uh -huh. approximately. Uh, so I think, uh, of course, Cyril US will come. Right. Then I think Cyril India, then Cyril Italy uh, will come, and then and Cyril India will be in Hindi. Yes. And and Italy will be in Italian, which actually makes it a far more ambitious project than even um, really what Marvel's done, because those are American products. Right. For the for the for the world market. Yeah. But these are um, they're, they're local, but also international because they're they're in the local language, and yet today. It doesn't matter. Language right. is, is, is is unimportant. Yeah, it is very cool I, I idea think, because yeah. everything was homegrown there. Right. And now this is expanded to the world, which right. is very cool. Yeah. That everybody gets to have their own heroes. Right. Yeah. 
Correct. And, yeah. uh, and I think that uh, whatever the big bosses at Amazon, I think they have somewhere. Uh, yeah. I can see that they have this vision that they're seeing the whole world right. as their market, mm. rather than make a show for America and let it see where it goes. They're right. seeing the whole world as a market. And right. Yeah, it's exciting you know. for the audience too because we are watching content from across the world. The world, right. Yeah. With subtitles, doesn't matter lately, you binge watch Narcos, True. it doesn't matter. Yeah, Parasite. Uh, yeah. yeah, Parasite. Yeah. And, and, and so you're just watching, you know, Dark was so wonderful and you're watching all these shows right. and now you're there. Correct. Like in, you're, if you're, you're invested the into the world, into that world, then yeah. you're kind of, yeah. The yeah. audience is the same, mm -hmm. looks like. So this is probably, probably the breaking of the final boundaries of right. cinema in a way that a show is being created that everybody is involved. Right. So, uh, yeah, that's that's very cool. And uh, we were joking the other day that we should perhaps make a mini season of Family Man meets Jack Ryan or something. Right. It, yeah. We were joking yeah. about it. Let's yeah. see. I mean. Yeah. I mean, their worlds could could sort of collide. Yeah. yeah. But what's been the experience? You know, we saw that picture with you all with the Infinity Gauntlets. Uh, but what's? I mean, obviously, you'll have you'll have met the Russo brothers um, in LA, I would imagine. What has that experience been like? Um, I, I know you all visited the, his writer, their writer's room. Yeah, yeah. Um, we went to the writer's room. The writer's room was helmed by uh, this group called Midnight Radio. Uh -huh. And they are uh, Josh Applebaum, Jeff, Andre, and? And uh, I forgot the name. Well, we I mean, haven't we met the other two. Okay. We haven't yeah, met the other two. Right. Yeah. So we met Josh and Jeff uh -huh. and these four guys have between them done some 50 features and series wow. lost and Mission Aries Impossible. And Mission right. Impossible. Right. And so yeah. it, uh, the cool part was when we went to their, their office mm. first because we did the writer's room there, right. you know, brainstorming and seeing what they've done. That was a really cool experience because as a creator, you first seeing their boards, their charts and their team, they're like at some 13 people sitting very, uh, uh, what do you call, organizedly and mm. very efficiently. There's somebody writing, somebody noting, somebody doing something else. And, you know, that was the, first that was a big highlight for me. Right. To actually see how they work. Mm. Yeah. Of course, we, we, we realize that we kind of work similarly, but in a more chaotic manner. Yeah, more chaotic and manner, a more chaotic manner, like, okay, I'll just do it And more <laughs> low budget. Um, and you don't so, have as many people sitting right. around the table. Yeah. So, yeah, and they were How big is your room? That, that's our room. There are a number of people. people yeah. ah, no, uh, Lately, I think we've had six, seven people, eight people. Six right? people? No, right like for, room? Uh, this Gulkanda, we've been having uh, a lot One, two, three. We've learned to now involve yeah. five. Uh, we've gone up to people, five. Yeah. Right. We were at three for a series. Uh -huh. uh, now we've gone up to five. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, that was pretty cool. So, we saw their charts, their, you know, hashing out how they approach it, and mm -hmm. we had all these. Because we in we reinvented the wheel for Family Man. We right. didn't know any experience. Right. So now we're comparing notes. Is that how you would have done it? Right. How many days do you shoot? Even those basic questions, what people ask us, Correct. like the guy who's writing, somebody new, uh, like an amateur Coming filmmaker in, yeah, asking, yeah. can you give me tips? How many days do you shoot? How many pages do you write? We're asking those kind and a few more to these guys. Right. And they were pretty, very, very open-hearted and you know very uh, excited yeah. with our stories. and. That so that happened, and, like yeah, and we also noticed that there's a little more demarcation of roles right. that we see there because right. everybody so, respects correct. everybody. Here it's everyone does everything, right? Yeah. You wear all the hats right. and stuff. Yeah. So yeah. I kind of do that. I there, could see yeah. how Josh and Jeff were writing like some three to four different worlds and stories wow. so efficiently. So yeah. That was eye opening because we were also doing three to four uh, uh, films and series together, right. Right. but. We are like waking like and sleeping are, with it and don't know when, what starts. Yeah, it feels when like it. we're swimming in one and have to get out and jump into the other one. Right. But, yeah, that's, so that that but when does that go on the floors? Um, it, will, it, will it be an all Indian cast uh, apart from the traveling characters? We want to go all Indian cast. There was a bit of a debate on this. Mm. It should be in English and Hindi and what, what and all. And they were very open with the fact that you guys take it and do what you like to do with it. And so there was a, a seed. They, they created and said, this is uh, the store approximate little bit of what uh, we would like. Right. So that is one uh, requirement. Right. There's a couple of requirements. Right. Besides that, the world, we kept it the open. World, the tonality mm. also, not all the shows need to be the same tonality as well. One could be a comedy, one could be horror, it could be anything. Right. Especially Joe yeah. Each season, you mean? E each series. Each right. series. Right. E once you create a right. series, you create series. stick For to sure. the world. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sure. And especially Joe Russo was very, almost like um, two minutes, three minutes, we talked and said what we thought our story would be. And 
he immediately said, I like this, this is very good, you stick to this tone, I like the fact that this is completely different tone yeah, in terms don't of… Try to, yeah, don't try to get, uh, what do you call it, influenced by what we are doing, just do your thing. Do your own. Right. I was saying, yeah, don't, don't even go with it and you know, to just to… Uh, uh, I like the fact that you completely ha picked up a different tone, right. not from this one. Right. And uh, that yeah, that that they was, see that as a that strength, they see that as a as You could a have gone the other way, the right, and said, guys, this is totally off. You know, this is stick to this. Can you can we do it in the same thing? Would right. have been more right. So, which is, but again, Josh and Jeff kind of said that's what's coming. Right. <laughs> that's what he would react as. I said, like, so it was good that we were all on the same that, page yeah, and yeah. stuff. Now, one would imagine with with season two of Family Man, um, you know, happening, um, and now getting into Citadel, there would be no time to make the feature, except that one knows. Um, the, I don't think it's any secret that there is there has been conversations with Shah Rukh. Um, where does that stand? So we have narrated a story a few months ago and he loved it and we are in talks. Um, he wants to do it, he has to, said we will do it and uh, of course the news is not out but then it leaked in yeah. a couple of times so I think I can talk a little bit about it because we kept mum. Right. We are like. I mean, it's not like Shah Rukh said don't tell a word. Correct. It's no, more you like you just very really respect that we right. didn't talk about uh, Russo project till it came out. Came out from then, right. We yeah. haven't to talked about another project that we're doing till it comes out. Right. So we, I think we hold it too long sure. and it leaks. And usually Looks it leaks. Like. Yeah. <laughs> so it's okay. We might as well own it. <laughs> so it's almost like we, uh, then we get to talk. Correct. So I said, yeah, yeah. so it's, it's, a, it's is a, it a... Is it a Raj and DK film? You know, is, is, it, is it the, I mean, has he been impressed by exactly what everyone else loves about what you all do together? That's I, what the best part was. Yeah, yeah that's it. I, yeah, I definitely think so because we just told him the story that we wanted to say yeah. and he immediately loved it. He didn't even... He did like, say one yeah. nice line that uh, yeah. uh, the story is... Uh, you, you, the, what is that? A script is... Your script is great and it's important to keep the script intact. Right. So whatever happens in the journey, uh, make sure that the script is exactly what you guys wanted it to be. Right. Yeah. Make the film that it should be. Sure. Don't be don't uh, uh, be bogged down right. by the actor in it or the star in it and stuff right. like that. It's almost like so, a warning. Sorry? It's almost like a little bit of a warning. No, no, he said I'll... I, I, <laughs> no, no, he, so, I mean, the, I, think the, I think that's his way of saying, you know, I'm, even if I offer a suggestion, don't correct, feel, correct. Don't feel compelled. Quite nice. Don't feel compelled kind of, yeah, to take it. Compelled yeah. to Usually, it, so. you would think a uh, uh, second second meeting, you will see the colors, yes, and you'll be like, so it's all good. So now let's change the story. Right. Uh, no, it's after many many meetings, it still stayed the same, and he's even more stronger into it. So we, right, I okay. think it's wonderful that he's so open to it. It is a very very one of our favorite scripts that we've been holding on. Okay. Saying yeah. let's do it at the right time, whenever. Right. Mm, so yeah. It's exciting if we can pull it off with them. Yeah. Finally, how do you sort of look at yourselves? You know, I, I mean, it's it's what I said right at the start. The outsiders who took Bollywood. I mean, it really feels. It, it almost feels like um, you know you're you're, you're having. Um, I don't want to say a moment because this is a moment doesn't a moment is short lived. Mm -hmm. This is this is longer than that. I mean, is there is there a sense? I mean, do you do you look back at at the starting point? You know, when when one has got to a place where that one had dreamt of or one that hadn't uh, dreamt of. Um, one tends to sort of look back and say, wow, we, you know, we, we got here. Um, is there any time for that given the work that you're uh, no. given as busy as you are? Constantly we think, I think. Yeah, and we think. Uh, also sometimes uh, your friends point out to you. Right. Like because for you, you say, I'm not thinking suddenly, I'm, I'm not flashback 10 years Correct. back and saying I was here, I'm here, right? Right. It's been gradual, 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 gradual. Yeah. Like, so it doesn't, I don't Yeah, you've been chipping away at it. Correct. Sometimes yeah. a friend points out saying, where did you start and where are you? I'm like, you're right. I mean, you're not doing so bad now. Right. You're like, yeah. yeah. The family and the friends, uh, uh, yeah. most of them are really outside the industry. So yeah. that keeps us rooted. Right. And that keep, keeps us like from the other world. Still okay. one step, one foot there. There, right. So you, you get the, you get the feel. You are always, uh, and also we keep telling ourselves the idea is to innovate yeah. and not start uh, manufacturing. Right. So that, and we've had a couple of rough years where yeah. we had to struggle to find and so we kept reminding ourselves, next time, this is what we're going to do. Also, yeah. and, and I think right now, last couple of years, we've been enjoying the process a lot also, more. Also, I think there is a certain, I think there's a certain, uh, what do you call, uh, people are talking about a Rajan DK film. That's right. As opposed to, which, I mean, which, which yeah. was a slowly growing thing. So at least there's a small niche we've made. That's that, right. With a certain trademark and that's a... 
Yeah, and, 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 the, and the important process uh, part is that one of the friends came in and he said, you guys look very happy. Right. I said, that's uh, nice. That, that, oh, that that's, really should uh, be the ultimate, yeah. right? Even yeah, though like you've just seen me in the morning, I was really stressed. <laughs> we are, we've been super stressed and super pressured with the timelines and the workload we've right. taken on. It's also the times. Yeah. Every creator is, uh, has a lot of work to do. Right. Uh, and at the same time, you want to be some, do something new. Mm. So there is a lot of pressure, but we're doing it happily. Right. Because the yeah. control, I think the control is the key. The and more we're also being very, very picky about what we do and not just, you know, we're not in it for the money, you know, sure. we're not just taking up every sure. offer that comes and we've been very careful that. Yeah, I think any just, creative person, when you get the right time to yeah. do what you want to do, right. it's a good time. And if success comes with it, yeah. even that's a pat in the back. Well, as long as y'all being happy yields films and shows that make us very happy, no complaints. Thank you. I, I, I've actually been a fan we'll for a long time. Uh, we'll no, keep you, trying. We'll keep trying. No, you do. We'll There's going to be hits and misses. That's right. We'll keep you should take some trying. big, bold swings. If you don't and, and risk it, right. then you'll be playing yeah. the most yeah. safe shots Safest possible. Game. Yeah, yeah. So. No, but I, I've been a fan for a long time. I, I, I really loved Bogor Gwan. I loved Show in the City. I really enjoyed 99. Um, family man, I mean, I can't can't wait to see what you do next. All the best. Thank um, you so Here's much. hoping that you will continue to sort of, you know, entertain us and and use you. You know, really, um, it's it's true what you said. You know, it is. There is now something that that one identifies as the Raj and DK film or the Raj and DK show, and can't wait to see what more you'll do with that. Thank you. Thank Thanks you. so Thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you.